my name. DeAndre. 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 The one and only. Oh, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. I am back with another video in regards to some more internet cringe that has hit my desk. And that internet cringe belongs to a YouTuber by the name of KJ Smooth. The reason why I'm talking about this particular person in general is because a video of his has gone viral where apparently he is going around to random strangers and reaching in his book bag pretending to pull out a gun and you know, shoot somebody. And that is the latest addition to the internet cringe that I have been speaking on for several, several videos. It doesn't cease to amaze me the level of stupidity that these people go to, the, the depth that these dudes and these chicks will go to in order to try and drum up some sort of content. Now, in all fairness, these videos are getting hella views. So in their, in, in their mind, why would they stop? Why would they not continue to do some of the dumb shit that has gotten other pranksters out there dealt with? Did a video a little while back where a dude literally got shot because of stupid pranks, right? I spoke about the uh, TikToker Mizzy. He literally just came out apologizing about some of the dumbass pranks that he was doing. And the list goes on and on, but I'll let you check it out for yourself. Why are you coming up on me like that? Back up on me. Good. We don't play that around here, bro. Bounce. We don't play that around here, homie. You need to bounce. What's up, homie? Are you dead? What are you reaching for, homie? Get up out of here, bro. What are you doing? I don't care, bro. What's up, man? What you want? You want something? Come back, homie. Show me what's in the bag. Show me what's in the mother bag. Go somewhere. Bag, homie, what are you reaching for? Go somewhere with yourself. Oh, you think this is funny, huh? Whatever reaching your mother bag like that. Give me that. Give me the mother water bottle, bro. Get up out of here. Yes. Go up to random strangers and pretend that you have a gun in your bag and see what their reaction is gonna be. Such amazing, amazing content idea. I think it's a I think it's so great. Please continue to keep doing that. You know, I mean, the world needs more content like this. I don't know what we were thinking. How, I don't know how we were living our lives without witnessing this type of magnificent content. It's just, it, it's insane to me that I have been living and breathing without witnessing this shit. It's crazy. And, you know, of all places to be doing this, man, you're doing this, you know, in California, L.A. probably and do you not know the gangs that are out there and this is the kind of shit that you're doing point where this stuff has no words i mean this is clearly some dude that clearly wants attention and he's apparently getting it you know he posted this video on tiktok and and best believe this isn't the only type of prank that he has on his channel there's plenty of other of other pranks out there that he has done that have been you know completely stupid as well but that's the point of this type of content is to be as stupid and as extreme as possible in order to get the views. Now, my question is, what if one of these dudes actually pulled out a gun back on you? Then what would have happened? Not everybody plays like that, man. Not everybody plays like that. And it has happened. So it's not like, you know, I'm just speaking out of my ass here. Someone has legitimately gotten shot. People have legitimately gotten killed over dumbass pranks like this. And it's just like, you know, I just feel like these, these types of content creators are just of a new 
They're of a new species. They're not exactly, you know, they're, they're not, they're, they're not from this planet. I really don't think they are. I think that they, that they're little space invaders that come down and plant this type of content in front of people like you and me, because there's absolutely no way that any sane person would be going out here doing stuff like this. That's A1 stuff right there. That's great shit. I can't believe he, he fell for that. What a dummy. What a dummy on his part, right? You sure got him. I just don't understand it, man. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get pranks like this. I just don't understand why I put yourself in these positions. Oh, no, I do get it. It's for the views and it's for the clout. Unfortunately, this is the kind of stuff that this generation has made themselves privy to. Can't really blame them. You know, it is what it is. You know, he has other pranks like this on his channel where he is, you know, just being a public nuisance and they're getting himself killed uh, in places that he knows that he shouldn't probably be. But that's the whole point of these pranks, right? Is to do things that you know is gonna piss people off or is going to be interpreted wrong. You want the reaction out of people. He gets it, he does it. I mean, just like there's this stupid video of him going around throwing up fake gang signs in the hood and then wonder why people get upset. What's up, bro? You's a little dumb mother Bro, you playing with me again? What did I do? What the you did? What did I do? Bro, you had me on the net looking crazy. Go ahead and throw that up that you threw up last time, bro. What the what did I, what did I throw up? You tell me, throw that shit up. Bro, I'm from a real gang, bro. What, what, what is that? What does this mean? What Read that bro. This is real. It says Oak Park. So what, you disrespecting, bro? Disrespecting what? My gang. Bro, I will hurt you, bro. So clearly you can see that he's, you know, he's being, he's been recognized, okay? He's been compromised. People have definitely, people know who he is, okay? And again, being a public nuisance, you're bound to be recognized. He is just another cog in this machine of internet cringe that I come across on a consistent basis. This, this video really isn't about him really at all. It's just that one of his videos I happened to see and I really wanted to talk about it because I just can't seem to get away from this type of shit. And I doubt that you guys can either. And you've probably seen this, this these videos and you've probably seen others like it. It's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. I don't know really what to say, but... This shit's got to stop, man, because at what point is enough enough? You're about to get yourself murked all for what? Some brownie points on the internet? Who gives a fuck? It's insane, man. But anyway, let me know what you all about this video down below in the comments, man. <laughs> all right? Stay lit. Believe in God. Believe in yourself. Everything else will work out for itself, man. Peace.